Hey, Marcus Conti reporting. Professor Conti is going to explain this very sophisticated pie chart. It's not a pie chart. It's a flow chart. It's a pyramid flow chart. You remember the pyramid flow charts? Check this shit out, man. This is going to explain... This is going to explain everything about the Great American Divide, right? So let's look over here, right? So everything flows up, right? You see the power, the power structure flows up. It flows up from, from the yellow, and it has to pass the, the, the red and the blue, right? To get to the truth. I right? See, that's what we're, we're striving for, the truth in the Great American Divide. We all want the truth, right? But you see how the power... See how the energy flows left and right here? It doesn't flow up. See, the, the D, the blue side, runs against the, the red side, and the red side runs against the blue side, and they cancel each other out, right? Now, that's 24% of, uh, of reds and 31% D, blue. That represents about half the country, right? And their power struck, their power is all exerted canceling each other out. Now, down here, you have the eyes, the independents, which represent about 42% of the United States, right? And they, that don't identify with an R or a D, right? And their energy flows up to the truth. See, their, their, their arrows are all pointing at the truth. But what's in the way of getting to the truth is these two knuckleheads, the R's and the D's, right? Which is half the country blocking the truth. Understand? So... So let's talk about who are the R's and who are the D's and who are the I's. We'll start with the R's. See, each one, each one has a, a talking point that cancels out the other. Sometimes the R's will come up with an idea, and then the D's will come up with a counter idea to cancel out the R's. Right? So corporate media right, corporate media left. Right? So that's like Fox and, and uh, well, other right-wing publications. And then here we have the left, the CNN, MSNBC crowd. Right? Are, are countering each other's energy. Right? Then you have, these are arguably Republican who buy elections, Democrats who steal elections. And both, both parties are okay with that. The, the Republicans are okay with buying elections, and the Democrats are okay with stealing elections as long as you win. Right? So the object here is to win. We can use billionaires to buy the elections, and that's okay. Or we can steal elections, and that's uh, just as good. Right? So... Uh, R's identify as conservative. <clears throat> the counter to that is the Democrats who uh, identify as as uh, liberal. Right? So here's the other the other catchphrases that cancel each other out. Right? Make America great again. The mega crowd. Right? The an the the counter to that was pink pussy hat. Right? There's QAnon and, and on a smaller note, QAnon, and then the other side of that is impeach Trump. Right? The the swamp, the big swamp. Uh, and the the Democrats flip that to uh, impeach Trump. They're going to lock her up, right? But then Russiagate satisfies the lock her up. See, these guys were leading this time. The R were leading. Lock her up, Russiagate. Build the wall. These guys are like, no, 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 open borders. Actually, it was open borders first. And then they said build the wall. Drain the swamp, right? These guys over here are about reform the party, right? They all want to drain the swamp, but these guys are about reforming the party. Right? So, also, uh, these are all, all of them, the R's and the D's respectively, are pro-war and pro-establishment. Both, both allegiances aim to prop up their respective parties. Therefore, they are pro-establishment. Even if you're trying to reform the party, even if you hold some of these views, as long as you stand in the camp of D, reform the party, then you are arguably a D. All are pro-war, especially when it satisfies uh, their agenda. Like Democrats are for war in, in Syria. They buy into the nonsense the, that, that, uh, that we're stomping out ISIS or some other made-up idea, right? As long as... As long as it supports the party line, they're okay with war. Right? And uh, the same here. Right? For example, they're all currently f in favor of uh, counterinsurgency wars in South America. They watch, we watch Nicaragua. We watch, now we're watching Venezuela go down. Right? And uh, all of them are pro-establishment, means meaning that they've, they've also turned their back on the, the 
proper movement right now of our time, which is yellow vest, which is these guys right here, the eyes. So let's talk about the eyes. Right? So you have you have um, the truth. This is the truth. This is the genuine truth movement who don't identify R or D. And their objective is to get to the truth, but they can't get there because R and D control House, Senate, and, and executive branch, right? The blockade from the truth is these people. Right? It's not to say that the, that the system is broken. It's not to say that the system is wrong of executive branch, judicial branch, and, and legislative branch, House and Congress, president, judges. It's not to say that, well, the Constitution that should be above it, it's to say that the people that are occupying it right now are corrupted and must go. It's the people. See, this is a people plan. This is this is this is psychology of the people. Right? You have to get rid of the psychology of the people so that the truth, the people who stand in the truth, critical thinking, truth, anti D and R establishment. Right? They're they're anti oligarchy, anti corporate corruption, corporate funding. Banks, Fed Reserve, money in politics, right? These people represent represent that. And with these guys in the way, it is virtually impossible to ever get to the truth, which is a, you know, a just and fair society, a, uh, a, a rule of law. These people are always pro-Constitution. These people are not pro-Constitution because they, they're willing to bend... Uh, every as long as it, it's in their favor, they're willing to bend the Constitution in their favor. These people are true constitutionalists down here, where where the R is for um, buying elections and the D is for stealing elections. The I stands in favor of free and fair elections. Right, so, and that is uh, the I is expressed in simple yellow vest. Now the object to get the forty two to get one hundred percent truth is to be able to flip the R and the D to yellow, right? That, that's the object, right? That's the, the object is to, is, to take, is to take the R, is to get these guys out of the way and, and, and make the truth prevail by, turn, by flipping these R and D. Marcus Conti reporting.